Hi YouTube family, I was watching Jen Loves Reviews the other day and she had the best video I've seen in a long time. She did 20 makeup products from 20 different brands in under 20 minutes. And I decided that I really wanted to do that video too, but I'm gonna do drugstore because I love drugstore makeup. You guys know that I'm the drugstore queen. I love high end also, but I can't always afford that. So I thought it would be really fun to be able to do it with drugstore items. So that's what we're gonna do today. We've got a lot to cover in under 20 minutes. Before we do, if you're new to my channel, make sure that you subscribe if you wouldn't mind. And please give this video a thumbs up. If you guys like seeing drugstore items or my drugstore favorites, that really does help me a lot. Okay, we're going to get going because like I said, we've got a lot to cover. From Rimmel. A couple of years ago, Rimmel came out with their lasting finish 25 hour breathable foundation. They had another one that was just the 25 hour foundation lasting foundation but the breathable one i found that it was so good for my skin because it wasn't really matte like the other one was and i couldn't get the other one to work because i do have dry skin but this one was really good it does have a doe foot applicator which i'm not crazy about but that's how it came and the finish on it is so pretty it covered all of my blemishes all of my dark spots it was really good coverage as far as that goes so full coverage and then it was also very long wearing 25 hours i don't know because i don't wear my foundations that long but it was a really really good foundation as far as being a long wearing too and it was good in the heat another foundation from physicians formula now i bet you guys thought that i was going to bring the butter bronzer out in the physicians formula and i was really tempted to to tell you the honest truth but this one out because i feel like this foundation is so good on mature skin i don't feel like it accentuates texture. I don't feel like it um, grabs onto any dry patches and I don't feel like it settles into my pores. Again, another doe foot applicator. As far as being a long wear, I would say it's not as long wear as the Rimmel one was, but I do really enjoy this and I enjoy how it finishes on my skin or how it sits on my skin where it's kind of in between a matte and a dewy finish. So it's almost like a satin finish. It's just so pretty. When it says healthy foundation, I do feel like it makes my skin look healthy. So I really have liked that one. The one I have on today is probably my favorite from all three of them, but it's Catrice and it's the HD liquid cover foundation. If you guys haven't tried this yet, there is a reason that it's a buzz on YouTube right now and everywhere else for that matter. This stuff covers so well with so little and the way that it takes care of any discoloration i have a lot of discoloration down here on my decollete and it just really covered that really well the and other thing is is it's so thin it really does cover with just that tiny amount that thin amount as far as it being 24 hours like it says on here i don't feel like it is that but i do feel like it does a really good job keeping you all the way throughout the whole entire day from flower beauty this is their satin touch powder finishing powder this is not a setting powder. This powder has a tiny bit of a sheen to it. It doesn't have like super sparkles or glow, you know, high beam glowy or anything like that, but it does have that slight sheen to it. So if you're gonna be in a lot of pictures or, you know, sometimes the lights in here can make me look more shiny than I actually am. So this is one that I just barely use on the tops of my cheeks, nose, you know, wherever you want to look glowy but as far as giving you a dewy finish if you have a really matte foundation on this is the thing for you and it is so fine and it doesn't catch any texture and i just i really love this from nyx i decided that my very favorite product from nyx is angel veil primer this primer is so so good you guys if you have texture if you have large pores if you feel like your foundation wastes away part of the day or anything like that this is so good and it just has the feel of the softest silicone i've ever felt it's not you know sometimes sil silicone has a super slip to it this isn't super slippy like that <laughs> It's not even a word, but it's not super slippery like that, but it just dries down really well. It doesn't make anything feel greasy. From e.l.f., this is the Poreless Putty Primer. And yes, guys, I did see this was in stock on e.l.f. ElfCosmetics.com. So if you want this, go over and grab it up. This one is a bit more hydrating. You can feel that there are, you know, it's a bit more of a cooling effect as you pick it up. 
and I just feel like it's a little bit more hydrating than the NYX one was. And then the e.l.f. really does act almost like a putty where you're pressing it into the pores and you're blurring out those pores. So this is a really good primer and I'm really glad that I was able to get it. From ColourPop, you guys know that I love ColourPop so much. The Super Shock formula of their blushes. And this one is called Between the Sheets. It is what I have on today and it feels like a very cream product. And then you get it on your skin and it goes in to a powder product that isn't dry. So it's not really going to stay tacky or sticky on your skin at all. It comes out so pretty if you use a stipple brush and you just put a light amount on or you can even use your fingers and just tap it on. But it's such a pretty color. It goes with so many different things that I have loved for a long time. That's my second one on that. Okay, from Wet n Wild. This is a throwback, you guys. But I tell you, I have been using this for so long. What happened was, I when this came out, I don't even know how long ago this came out. Did it come out like 15 years ago? I want to say it came out a really long time ago. I don't remember. But when I saw that Ulta had gotten it back in, I freaked. Because I remember just loving this stuff so much. And really back then, everything was matte. It was the 90s, everything was grunge, everything was matte. And so I didn't do a lot of this. And these are called the Two Reflect Shimmer Palette. This is called I'll Have a Cosmo. Now I'm gonna show you right there. So there's the blush and just take that and put it over top of it. And oh my heavens to Lord, you look like you have got glass on your skin. It does not, I do have it on. It does not pick up any texture. It looks so absolutely gorgeous on the skin because it doesn't have any reflex. It doesn't have any shimmer. It's not a super, pigmented product it's just got the beautiful shine so you look like you just have this water type look or glass type look across your cheeks and i really like it it does come in another color which is a gold color which i have right here i'll swatch this one for you too this one is called boozy brunch and again this is another one that i remember having and, and when i got it it was just like holy moly these are just so beautiful you guys it reminds me of, you know, just looking onto the water when it's just glass-like. And so both of them are so incredibly beautiful. Okay, speaking of highlighters, from Essence, I had to put the Pure Nude Highlighter in here. This particular highlighter is not beaming. Um, it isn't even really super shiny. But on the skin, it gives this light reflection it's not the glass like that I just showed you from the Wet n Wild ones. It's more of this just candlelight glow to it. If you feel like you can't wear highlight, you can wear this one because it just has that beautiful, subtle glow instead of all of the strobing that everybody is into right now. And the formula is soft. It blends so well. It lasts on me all day long. Okay, and from Profusion, I found this blush palette and this is the blush two palette from them. This is $5 and you get such a good amount of blush here. This color right here mixed with this pink is actually my favorite combination. It just makes such a gorgeous wash on the skin. I really do have the colors that you can get away with if you're medium to dark over here and then if you're super light over here and it has three matte colors and then it has three of the shimmer or satin colors in here this is a really really good product as far as value as far as how creamy it is how it stayed on my cheeks now when i tell you that things stay keep in mind that i do spray my face with a setting spray i make sure that i spray down my makeup so i really don't have a problem it's just one of those blush palettes that you can get so many different looks out of like and it's soft it's blendable and i really have enjoyed having that okay milani recently from milani i I got their new silky matte bronzers and this one is number two and it's called sun kissed I'll tell you why I like this so much because the dang thing isn't pure orange I have a very cool neutral undertone and if I get a too orangey bronzer it's gonna show up and it's gonna make me look like an Oompa Loompa and I'm gonna just look terrible it has a very soft feel to it it's very easy to put on it works really good with my coloring so it makes me look bronze without looking orange or without looking muddy either one it blends so seamlessly i am wearing it today as a bronzer i feel like sometimes when people put on bronzers because they're so orange even if they put them like right here on their cheeks you can really tell that they have it on but this one for my coloring does really good now they do have other colors that are more onto 
the warm side. So you might want to check them out. All right, I put Sephora in here because they're like on the borderline of being, you know, drugstore or high end. They're almost at the price point of where L'Oreal is, maybe a tad bit higher, but their Gel Rouge lip liners, oh wow, you guys. I know that I've talked about these a million billion times. I am wearing this today. So I am wearing the Rum Raisin with the Cashmere Pink, and they're both such pretty colors, but mixed together, they look so pretty. This is what I have on for my um, complete lip color. This isn't just what I have on, you know, as lip liners. And that's one of the things I do like about them is they are so soft that you can do them as your lip color instead of just your lip liner. And they have every color under the sun. This one is called Bellflower, and I've told you guys this a million times, but that is my favorite. It is a very muted, um, mauve purpley color. Some people really like peaches, some people like pinks, plums, reds, whatever you like, they've got it. One thing I will say about this is it's not a liner that is going to last like after you eat or anything. So it is like a lipstick, but such a pretty formula. Now today I am wearing the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Mascara. I have it in both formulas. I have it in the regular and then I have it in the waterproof. I think that I almost like the waterproof a little bit more because the tube that I got of the regular one was a little bit like you pulled out the, the wand and you got too much on there. So it was doing a lot of wiping. But I'll tell you what, you guys, this will make me have such lush lashes that are really long. So I've got thick looking lashes and I've got length too. And I love that about it. And then I'll just take the waterproof and put it underneath and I'll take the waterproof and I'll put it on as a top coat. And it seems to make the other last all day, but it's not quite as hard to get off at night. If I just use the waterproof, boy, that's gonna be there for two days if I didn't take it off. It would be there until it wore off and it's just that good. And that is what is nice about this too. If you use the regular one, you're gonna be able to build and build and build without getting a lot of clumps as long as you wipe off that one. My eyelashes have been doing so good right now anyway. So if I can get a mascara that really works with the length of them and the volume of them, I'm really happy and I have been with these. From Makeup Revolution, I bet you guys think that I was going to go ahead and put in a palette, but I'm not gonna put in a palette. I think that Makeup Revolution did such a good job on this liquid highlighter. And this one is in Starlight and this stuff, you guys, if you do have texture, but you're wanting the strobing look that everybody goes for where it's just super high beam and you want to put that on your cheeks or anywhere else for that matter this might be the way for you to go put on your beauty blender and tap it across there and really blend it in and it's so beautiful this is what it is like it is definitely that high beam um just blinding gorgeous highlight but what's nice about it is it doesn't have the texture that a powder one might have. Now, I do love Becca's pressed powders or pressed highlights. They're a really good formula, but I do find that at times they do create a little bit of texture. If you get something that is liquid like this, then you can use this and never see any extra layers, which is what we want as we get older. The more layers, the more cakey we look. So you can take one of those layers away with this and this lasts a long time on the skin because again, it is that cream product and I find that cream products do so well. Okay, from L'Oreal, again, I'm popping it way back, way back to old school. You guys, these are the L'Oreal Infallible Single Shadows. Okay, so I have one called Golden Sage and then I have another one called Timeless Blue Spark. And these are so beautiful for wearing on your lid and then, you know, just wearing um, a neutral color into your crease. But they're so vibrant and they're so pretty and they do have that metallic sheen to it. Before any of these companies decided, oh, metallic shadows are the way to go, L'Oreal did these and they did them really, really well. Okay, from Revlon. Revlon came out with a brand new concealer and this is their Candid Concealer. This is a medium to full coverage concealer, but I love what this does on my under eyes as far as not showing um, my fine lines up, maybe a little bit. You can't get away from it 100%. I think I've said that to you guys a million times, but boy, it's just 
such a good one for not drying me out completely because I already have such dry crepey skin underneath there. It is buildable. So I would say go a very thin layer at the beginning. If you're not finding that it is covering enough, try another one. And I really haven't had to powder hardly at all with this because it's almost like it self sets. If it's going to be really um, muggy or I'm going to be really sweating, then yes, I want to powder it. But as far as every day, this is just a really, really good concealer. And I've been really enjoying it since it came out. Morphe is not one that I reach for all the time. I do have several palettes of theirs. I have the Jaclyn Hill, the big one. Um, I just actually got that brand new one that has a lot of purples in. That's actually what's on my eyes today. But this one that is from Jaclyn Hill, the vault, and this is called Bling Boss. This one is probably my favorite eyeshadow palette that they've ever done. It does have a mirror in it. Um, most of theirs do not, but this one is great. It does have the colors that I gravitate towards, but there is some very, very gorgeous met high metallic colors in here that for me were like, wow, this is a really next level beautiful palette. And it does have this deep brown right here. And this does have like little flecks of copper in it, but it doesn't really show up that much on you. But I just think that these colors, even this purple right here, and purple's hard color to get right, but they really got it right. They really did a good job on it. So this is one that I reach for all the time. And I know that this is my very favorite thing that Morphe has ever made. Okay, BH Cosmetics. This one was hard for me because I love BH Cosmetics um, palettes. I have ventured into some of their blushes. I haven't really gotten into like their face products. So this is more about just what palette I liked of theirs and hands down for me, it has to be the Ultimate Artistry Shadow Palette. I did get the matte one recently, but I still think I like this one better. This one is endless looks. This, I think it's like 42 colors but we're talking endless looks in here. If you wanna go cool tone, you've got that. If you wanna go warm tone, you've got that. You wanna go bright colors, you've got that. You wanna go more muted, you can. If you wanna go smoky, you can. Every finish from matte, satin, pearl, metallic, glitter, they're all in here. When I first got it and I worked, I always worked about seven days with my new palettes. And when I first got it and started working with it, it was like every color just performed so good. So this is one from BH Cosmetics that I would highly recommend. And you guys know that Juvia's Place is my love of my life. Oh my gosh, as far as eyeshadow palettes go. And the Magic Palette for me, there can't be anything that beats this palette in Juvia's Place. Um, collection. This one I like because of its variety. It just runs the gamut of all the colors, it seems, of the rainbow. There is only one color in here that I don't like to use, but that's only because of my coloring and it's that yellow right there. But even this color over here, which is, it's a red, but it's more along the lines of a salmon color more than anything. Love that color. It's so saturated. And that's the thing about these. You just a little teeny tiny bit goes a long way because they're so saturated. The other thing that I absolutely love about them is they last forever when you're doing an eye look. You got your eye look on all day and all night, no matter what. And I just can't say enough good things about Juvia's Place. Okay, we're at the last thing. What do you think it is, guys? I haven't mentioned one brand, and that is Maybelline. Maybelline is one of my very favorite brands, and you guys, I had a hard time picking between those high metallic highlighters that they have, the color correctors that they have, their foundations, which I could have talked about all of their foundations, and then their lipsticks. And I chose the lipsticks because their lipstick bullets they're just so pretty. They're very, very saturated. And any color you could possibly want is here. So I have several colors right here that I absolutely love. And yes, most of them look a lot alike <laughs> because I love that mauve purple tone. So as far as I'm concerned, that formula on Maybelline, the creaminess, whether you're wearing the matte or whether you're wearing a high shine cream, um, they just go on your lips and they feel so comfortable all day long. It's the same thing where I can get like a half a day out of them until I eat and then I have to reapply, which doesn't bother me, but 
I really love how nourishing and how comfortable they do feel on my lips. And you can go really bold with the colors or you can go really muted and towards the nude side if you like that too. That is 20 different products from 20 different brands, you guys. I hope that you did enjoy seeing all that makeup. So if you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. Do you guys have a different brand that I couldn't think of in here at the drugstore that maybe you have a favorite product in? Let me know in the comment section below or let me know if one of these brands that I showed you today, you have a favorite product that I didn't mention. I'd love to hear that from you too. I hope that you guys are all having a great day. Thank you so much for taking a bit of your time out and spending it with me. I will see you guys all in my very next video. Take care of yourselves. Love ya. Bye-bye.